The following is a DW Holy Saints production. Andrew the Apostle, also called Saint Andrew, was an apostle of Jesus. He is the brother of Simon Peter and is a son of Jonah. Originally a disciple of John the Baptist, he became one of Jesus' closest apostles and eventually went on to preach in the Black Sea region where he would give his life for the faith. It is generally agreed that St. Andrew was crucified by order of the Roman governor Aegeus at Patra in Achaia, and that he was bound, not nailed, to the cross in order to prolong his sufferings. The cross on which he suffered is commonly held to have been a diagonal cross, supposedly at his own request, as he deemed himself unworthy to be crucified on the same type of cross as Jesus had been. The iconography of the martyrdom of Andrew, showing him bound to an X-shaped cross, does not appear to have been standardized until the later Middle Ages. His martyrdom took place during the reign of Nero on the 30th of November, 60 AD, and both the Latin and Greek churches keep the 30th of November as his feast day. A local superstition uses the cross of St. Andrew as a hex sign on the fireplaces in northern England and Scotland to prevent witches from flying down the chimney and entering the house to do mischief. By placing the St. Andrew's cross on one of the fireplace posts or lentils, it is said that witches are prevented from entering through this opening. Andrew's remains were originally preserved at Patras. However, some believe St. Regulus, who was a monk at Patras, received a vision telling him to hide some of Andrew's bones. Shortly after Regulus' dream, many of Andrew's relics were transferred to Constantinople by order of Roman Emperor Constantius II around 357. Regulus later received orders in a second dream telling him to take the bones to the ends of the earth. He was to build a shrine for them wherever he shipwrecked. He landed on the coast of Fife, Scotland. In September 1964, Pope Paul VI had all of St. Andrew's relics that ended up in Vatican City sent back to Patras. Now many of Andrew's relics and the cross on which he was martyred are kept in the Church of St. Andrew in Patras. St. Andrew is venerated in Georgia as the first preacher of Christianity in that territory and in Cyprus for having struck the rocks creating a gush of healing waters upon landing on the shore. His X-shaped cross is featured on the flag of Scotland and is represented in much of his iconography. St. Andrew is commonly portrayed as an old man with long white hair and a beard, often holding the gospel book or a scroll. St. Andrew is the patron saint of fishermen and singers. He is also the patron saint of several countries and cities including Scotland. Romania, Russia, Ukraine, and Patras. He is considered the founder and the first bishop of the Church of Byzantium and is consequently the patron saint of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. Thus, Benedict XVI calls him the Apostle of the Greek world, and since he is the brother of St. Peter, the first bishop of Rome, their brotherhood is symbolically expressed in the special reciprocal relations of the See of Rome and of Constantinople, which are truly sister churches. This is what the apostle was claimed to have said just before his death on his X-shaped cross, according to an ancient story which dates back to the beginning of the 6th century, entitled The Passion of Andrew. Hail, O Cross! Inaugurated by the body of Christ and adorned with his limbs as though they were precious pearls. Before the Lord mounted you, you inspired an earthly fear. Now, instead, endowed with heavenly love, you are accepted as a gift. Believers know of the great joy that you possess and of the multitude of gifts you have prepared. I come to you, therefore, confident and joyful, so that you too may receive me exultant as a disciple of the one who was hung upon you. O blessed cross, 
clothed in the majesty and beauty of the Lord's limbs. Take me, carry me far from men, and restore me to my teacher, so that through you, the one who redeemed me by you may receive me. Hail, O cross, yes, hail indeed.